you know, we have to be able to be different, you know? We need to captivate and embrace difference. And in that, there's freedom, saints. There's so much freedom. God's moving. He's doing something powerful. This virus thing, this is just something God has unleashed. Uh, there is a hope. There is a peace. There is a trust that's being emerged from his presence in the earth. And we alone, we're the ambassadors. We're the ones that speak it forth. We have the authority. The devil has no authority. The devil's a liar. You know, scripture says when we see him, we're going to be amazed. You know the little cartoon, the devil on this, and the angel on this? Well, the angel ain't that big, but the devil's that big. He's just the mouth speaking great things. That's all he is. And we have the authority, so we need to take hold of that. We need to rejoice and, and be grateful and glad in the hour that we're in. Sister Louise is going to do communion, give some instruction, because we're doing everything differently. So pay attention. Keep your kids in the seats by you, parents, if you would. No roaming kids. We'd like that. All right? It's so good to be with all of you today. You know? that, um, and I know there are some of us that couldn't come because various reasons they have compromised immune systems or they have, they're elderly. Um, you know, there's different reasons, and we want to be wise. We just don't want to be fearful, you know. So I don't know if any of you have ever tried these cups before. They're, I'm sure. You just, you pull up, there's two layers. The top layer has a wafer, that's the body, and then there's another layer that has the, the juice in there for the blood. It's really, it's simple. You know, we're used to just coming up and everybody getting their own you know, cup and all that. And we're asking that parents of little children, we don't have a whole lot as, as much as we used to, usually do, but parents of little children, if you could come up and get that cup for them. And then afterwards, we're asking the children, they usually pick up the cups for everybody, and we're going to ask the children to stay in their seats, and the ushers will come around and, and pick up the cups. Thank you. So, yes. Oh yes, and thanks for reminding me. What we're going to do as as well is we're going to when you come up for communion, bring your tithe because we're not passing a basket today. Baskets will be up here. Um, you know, just it's just trying to keep the germs to a minimum. There's some more envelopes up here. There's pens that happen all. Everything's been wiped down and sanitized. I don't know how many times. You know, Mary, she's she's like a yeah, she's a bulldog, man. She is a force, man. She's an awesome force. So, so I just want to read a couple things and then um, we'll pray. First uh, Corinthians 11, and we all know this scriptures on, on the Lord institutes the communion. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and said, Take, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. And you know, we always take a time where we kind of have a time to reflect, um, really for the Lord to just show us those areas in our yes. lives. And we are under, this church is under an hour right now when the Lord is going deep. Yep. And he's showing us things in our own lives. Yep. And it's not to destroy us. It's not to make us feel bad or guilty or shameful or any of that. It's to prepare us. Yeah. Because there is 
something coming, and we all know it, we've been talking about it for a while, that it is, it is coming, you know? And we know that this is not an hour to be fearful or to be scared of what's happening, you know? Scripture tells us, and we've heard this one too, the spirit that God gave us does not make us timid. It doesn't make That's us right. afraid, right. but gives us power, yes. love, and self-discipline, you. you know? This is an hour that we need to display the power of God through peace, hope, like Pastor Philip was saying, you know, there, there's, we can release this hope and this peace to a dying world and to a fearful world, you know. Yes. There's a trust in the Lord now that we have to have that, yes. you know, he knows what's going on. He's not unaware of coronavirus or anything else that's happening. He's well aware. And um, he just wants us now to rise up. The church needs to rise. Yes. And we need to love others yeah. as he has loved us. Mm -hmm. You know, we are not to be fearful. We're to display that love, the power of the Holy Spirit that gives us the ability to go out. And, and you know, self-discipline. Let's not run out and start buying things and hoarding That's things right. unless yeah. you're doing it to help your neighbor. That's right. That's you right. know, yes. if you're going to buy an extra package of chicken, let your neighbor know, hey, do you need something? Play the paper, please. Don't stockpile it, you know? If your neighbor needs it, let them have some, you know? Whatever, whatever the Lord called you to do, you know, he's been so generous with us. We need to be generous with others and show that generosity through helping them, through serving them, um, whatever the Lord calls us to do, you know? We receive... We freely give. That's we have right. freely received. We freely give. Yes. Um, and this is an hour. The Lord is saying, you know, I'm going to do a mighty thing. Thanks. Will you be part of it? Yes. Yes. He asked me that. Will you be part of it? Yes. And I don't know about you, but I want to be part of it. Yes. Whatever yes, it Lord. takes, we, we say, say yes, yes to you. Yes. Amen. Lord, you know? Amen. Um, I just want to read one more scripture, and it's in 1 Corinthians 2. Starting with verse 9. But as it is written, eye has not seen nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them to us through his spirit, for the spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things, for what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of the man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. Connect with the Holy Spirit in this hour. Now we have received, not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. Yes. Um, again, we have received freely, give freely. You know, The scripture talks about grace, talks about giving and serving. Um, it talks about not being and walking in the spirit of this world. But walking in the spirit of God. And so, Lord, we do that in this yes. hour, Lord God. We yes. say yes to you, Lord God. Yes. Lord, we say, Lord God, that in this hour, Lord God, show us how to display your beautiful character, your son, Jesus. Yes. Help yes. us to love others, to give and to serve, Lord yes. God. Help us to display and, and show hope to those who are hopeless, Lord God. Help us to show courage and strength and faith to those who are afraid, Lord God. Help us to show those that we can trust in you, for you are well aware. You are well aware of what's going on in this, in this country, in this nation, Lord God, with health issues or political issues, whatever. Fill in the blank, Lord God. You are still on the throne, Lord yes. God. And we submit to you today yes. and say, have your will, have your way. Have your we, way. We examine ourselves, Lord God. If there's any way in us that needs to be changed, Lord God, we ask right now that you reveal to us, Lord God, that we would be have clean hands and pure hearts, yes. that we would be vessels for you to display your glory. In all of this, Lord God, we pray you would be exalted and glorified in this earth through your church, through your body. Unify us 
that we would be one voice praising you, Lord God. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. cups right now and uh, you know the president declared today a national day of prayer for peace over our nation and at 12 o'clock we've got about three minutes to go um, I've asked Teresa to come up and lead us we're going to pray jointly with all the believers in our nation for peace Jane wants to make that announcement so we're in about two minutes Um, real quick, if there's any able-bodied men who need help tomorrow with the food pantry, maybe if you can be here by noon, 1 o'clock, our truck will be coming in and we need people to um, unload it. Um, tomorrow we will be handing out groceries as people drive through our parking lot, so it's a low risk. But we do need um, some able-bodied men or super strong uh, Xena-like warrior women. Um, so um, I, if you can do that, please see Mary. She's in the back. And um, let, let us know. Okay? Thank you. So we're going to pray. And, um, yeah, Joey, you take those. Teresa, you want to come on up? I asked Teresa to lead us in prayer. Um, and this is powerful. This is not a small thing when we pray corporately as a nation, joining other believers. God's going to move. He is moving, you know, and we're moving forward with him. Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. Lord God, you have given this church a gift, Lord God. It is a call to apostolic anointing, Lord God. You have given each one of us in this house a gift, Lord God, and we stir it up right now in this hour, Lord God. We will yes. go forth, Lord God, from this time forward, Lord God. 
doing that which you have called us to do, being who yes. you have called us to be. Hallelujah. Lord God, we place our God-given apostolic authority over this coronavirus in the name of Jesus, and we command you to be bound. We place you at the feet of the cross, and we put the yes. blood of the Lamb yes. over this house, yes. over this people. Yes. We declare that it will not touch yes. a one of us. In Jesus' name, Lord God, we yes. just declare your blessing yes. over your house, Lord God. We thank you for that, Lord God. We, we Lord God, listen. Lord, we listen to hear your voice, yes. Lord God, to hear you tell us, Go here. No. Don't go there. Yes. Buy this. Don't buy this, Lord God. Yes. Lord, we trust you. Yes. Lord God, we look to you, Lord God. Yes, we put our faith in you and you alone, Lord God. And Lord God, I ask that you would use this situation to stir up your people, Lord God, to stir up that gift of God that you have given us, Lord God, that we would float, Lord, float above all the fear, Lord God, all the anxiety, yes. all the uncertainty, Lord God, yes. in Jesus' yes. name, Lord God, that we would be head and shoulders, Lord God, head and shoulders yes. above the world, yes. above the fear, above um, dread and anxiety, Lord, I pray that we would walk in faith as we go to our workplaces, yes. Lord God. Lord, taking authority over those things, Lord God, finding those spirits, Lord God. I ask, Lord God, that we would have a voice in the darkness, Lord God, yes. that would bring light, Lord yes. God, that would bring hope, yes. that would point people to Jesus, Lord God. I ask, Lord, that we would encourage one another, that yes. we would share with one another, that we would be generous, Lord God, with the lost yes. and the hurting, Lord God, and the fearful, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that you have placed us at such a time as this, Lord God, to raise up, Lord God, in faith, Lord God, and we do that, Lord yes. God, and we trust you, Lord God, we look to you, Lord, and we believe you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Lord. You, I Lord. ask, Lord, a special blessing on pastors today, Lord yes. God, that you would bless them, yes. Lord, with quick healing, Lord God. I ask that during this time that they are resting in you, Lord God, that you would speak to them, that you would give them a uh, clearer vision that they have ever had, Lord God, and that they too would rise up, Lord God, in greater authority, Lord, than and what you have called them to be, Lord God, that they would um, have a greater anointing to teach and direct us, Lord God. Yes. Lord, I, I thank you for them, Lord God. I thank you for this house, Lord, thank and I pray you. for these other churches, Lord. So many churches are, are closing down, Lord, their doors. I ask, Lord God, that you would, Lord, keep your people connected, Lord God, that, yeah. that if it's yeah. only a few weeks, yeah. Lord, that people aren't meeting together, Lord, I pray that they would not get in the habit, Lord God, of not meeting together, Lord yes. God, but Lord, they would long, long, Lord God, and feel a great laugh, Lord, because they are not meeting together, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for our leaders, Lord. We pray for President Trump and Vice President Pence as they have assembled able-bodied men and women, Lord, with, with strategies, Lord, to combat this virus, Lord God, to stop this thing, Lord. Empower them, unite them, Lord yeah. God, and give them the wisdom from heaven yeah, to Lord. deal with this, Lord, that you would be glorified in the midst of it all. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, Andrea, where's Oh, yeah, thank you. Father, I, I want to lift up, Lord, all the medical professionals, Lord, yes. that are treating those that are uh, infected. Father, I pray yes. especially for the doctors down at Children's Hospital as yes. they are beginning to uh, triage, Lord, down there, all those with um, autoimmune challenges. I pray. Father, for Hannah, as she uh, continues to practice, Lord God, that you would protect her family, Thanks. all those in the healthcare profession, yeah. Lord, yes. that you would protect their own families as they sacrifice and serve. And I, and I pray also, too, for um, Jackie, for, Lord, that you would insulate him from all harm and danger. Yes. Lord Jesus, as he goes down to children's this week, I pray that you would really just burn up any enemy yes. uh, before he gets there and after he leaves. Yes. I also pray for Emmy and Jay <coughs> as they are just um, housebound and for their fear and anxiety that is mounting up. Lord, for those that are challenged with immune systems, Cindy Van, Carol Trudgett, Lord, those that have really had a, a 
our susceptible and vulnerable, our seniors, Lord God, that you would move mightily on their yes, path, Lord. that you would use the, you, this Lord. crisis as opportunity yes. for the church to minister. In Jesus' name, yes. amen. amen. Um, I just want to really quickly uh, mention the Easter egg hunt. As of right now, we are still tentatively planning to have it. Um, so, you know, you can still sign up to volunteer. That's on April 4th. Um, I'm not going to make a big announcement on it, but it's we're, we'll just reevaluate probably the end of this week and decide exactly what we're going to do. We are having um, Sunday school today for the two younger classes. The Little Lambs is ages one and walking through kindergarten, and that's the first door on the left down the steps. And then the Alpha class is grades one through five, and that's the third door on the left down the steps. Um, and just so you know, we are, you know, we've been disinfecting everything. The teachers are gonna disinfect everything before, before the children come in. We're asking parents Please take your children's children to the bathrooms and um, wash their help them wash their hands if they're younger, or you know make sure they wash their hands thoroughly before they go to the class. Um, we're not going to serve lunch in the kitchen. They're going to have packaged snacks in the classroom instead. Um, and then you know we, we have hand sanitizers, hand sanitizer in the rooms. We'll be making sure the children wash their hands after they eat, just so everyone knows. You know we're we're taking precautions in the classrooms also. If you're not comfortable sending your children to class, that's, that you can leave them, or just keep them in here with you, that's fine, as long as they stay with you. Either way, but um, we are taking precautions. So we are going to, um, the Omega class, which is sixth through sixth grade and up, we are gonna, they're gonna stay in the service and hear Pastor Bird today. Everyone else will be dismissed. So we're just gonna pray over our children, and if everyone wants to raise their hands towards the children. Lord, we just thank you for this house full of children today. Thank you yeah. for everyone who's been able to come out and gather together with you today. And we just ask that you would bless the teachers and the classes today. We ask that the children will hear from you and grow in you, even at a young age, that they would just yes, grab onto you, Lord, that even, even our children would not be fearful during this time. They would yes. they would be um, be stand up yes. that too, just like you know, just like Teresa prayed, Lord, that they would be not fearful. They would trust in you, Lord. They have a supernatural trust in you. We just ask that they would be little warriors for the kingdom. In yes, Jesus' Lord. name, amen. 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 How are you? Hey Rob, what if I just have him call on the phone and I'll put it up to the mic? Oh, you are? Okay, but you tell him to call me. And he can. You want me to tell him? Oh, you're okay, good. I'm, I'm teaching. Okay. 
call me back. For those of you just joining, um, we're just taking a couple minutes to put kids in Sunday school. Isaiah the prophet saying, he himself took our infirmities and bore our 
is going to show us how to be ministers of the gospel, ministers of life, ministers of grace, and ministers of healing in these extraordinary times. We are not going to yield to fear. We're going to break the hope of the gospel. So with that, I just want to, uh, we'll turn the service back over to those who are there. Uh, but I just thank you guys so much. And uh, you will be seeing us soon. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen. 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 Bird? Okay. You got the word. started way over in China be impacting us today. You know, it's just a wonder. Can't be afraid of dying. Can't, can't be afraid of that because you're supposed to be dying anyway. Amen. Come on, talk to me, y'all. You're supposed to be dying. Come on, man. That's it. See, you don't. Oh God, you don't know what you don't know. What's going to happen? And, and let, let me do this real quick. Alex, come up real quick. Please. See, God, God is mindful, man. i got to do something real quick. Right out there. Father God, see, it's amazing how the Lord always, you know, how the Lord, I knew the Lord was going to speak to somebody Wes, you get ready. Alex, raise your hands, bro. In the name of Jesus, God said, I am changing you. I am molding you. He said, get ready to be a new Alex. He said, yeah, you're going, bro. People kind of know your situation and your circumstance. He said, but it's me exposing. He said, so this way you can walk and walk comfortably. He said, because what I'm going to do with you is going to be a shock to them <laughs> in, in, in a matter of months. In the name of Jesus, Father God, use him, use him, use him, Lord God. Even your parents, I'm hearing him say, even your parents are going to be shocked at what he's going to do with you because of the love and the peace and the joy that he's going to lay on you. It's going to shock them and going to lead them to him. And they're going to lead them to Christ. Watch, watch, Alex. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, brother. Come on, Wes. Come on, Wes. The word is burning in your heart. God, you suck. The word is burning in your heart, brother. It's <laughs> Woo! God said, just stick tight. He said, stick close. He said, stick close to us. Stick close to the leaders that are here. He said, I'm going to use you. He said, you another person I'm going to change. He said,
said, just sit tight and just do as I show you, and I'm going to bring you forth in a big time way in the name of Jesus. He said, just keep sticking close. He said, you left, you didn't know what you wanted to do, and you really didn't leave. He said, but you just didn't know. He said, and then you came back. He said, that was the sign of you opening up your heart to me to let me do what I want to do with you. Oh, God. Because that's what it's about, people. It's about God doing what he wants to do with you. It ain't about you doing what you want to do. It's about God. Amen. Well, be blessed. Let the anointing of the Lord come forth. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I had to do that, y'all. The Lord showed me that. Especially after that press to fill the call. He said, be brief now, God. Be brief. <laughs> Amen. Now, let me pray. Father God, Amen. thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you that we don't have to be worried about any sickness or any disease. We don't, people. We don't have to be worried about that. Just believe. Just trust. Just trust. Father God, we thank you that you made a way and that you, you brought us healing. Yes. You said, by your stripes, yes. we yes. are healed. Yes. By your stripes, yes. God, we, we, we are healed. We declare it now. Right. It's by the stripes of Jesus. Jesus died for us to be healed, for us yes. to be whole, yes. for us to be yes. setting. So that we can serve him. God got a plan. He got a plan. Even for those that think that he doesn't. He got a plan for you. You just got to walk it out. I know it's hard. The message I'm getting ready to bring. It was hard for him. So you know it's going to be hard for you. Father mm. God in Jesus name. Amen. amen. Okay let's turn to Exodus. Give me a few minutes. We're going to spell this thing out. We all go home. This is about Moses. This is part two. This, this is part two, man. First, Moses. It took Moses. It took Moses kind of had it easy. First of all, the Pharaoh tried to kill him when he was a baby. Then he got 40 years old. He was living, a, living in a lap of luxury. That's right. He was royalty. He was the man. Yeah. He was good at warfare. He was good at architectural. He was good at so many things. Yeah. But the one thing he wasn't good at is what God wanted him to do. See, he started, oh God, I can't speak. Oh God, I need help. Yeah. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. But God still used him. That's right. God still used him. And I don't know who I'm talking to. <laughs> Somebody in here is, is, is relevant to Moses. You're relevant. You're relevant, Mother Joyce. Wow, wow. Oh, shine, no, no more CK, they about. Y'all not out of my side. Y'all not out of my side, y'all. Mary Jo? Powerful. Powerful. Moses, was a baby, and that greatness was his mother seeing that greatness on him when she put him in that basket. She saw it from the very beginning, and she put him in that basket, and she cried. She cried because she knew this was the only way to save him. See, he had three entities 
watching over him at that time. He had the father, he had the son, and he had the Holy Spirit watching over him as a baby. Listen to me, y'all. You can't tell me it wasn't, it wasn't God's plan for Moses not to get killed. Every other baby got killed. Come on, talk to him. Yeah. It, it had to be God's plan. How they tricked Pharaoh. Woo! They tricked him. They tricked him with, with Moses as a baby. They tricked him with the plagues. They tricked him to let the people go. They even tricked them to give them silver and gold before they, they take this and get out. I'm laughing because God can do anything. Yes, he can. Amen. Anything. That's right. Anything. I can't stop laughing. It's the Holy Spirit. See, the Holy Spirit bubbling up in me. Bubbling up, bubbling up. I can't stop laughing because. God's wisdom is ultimately higher than anything we can think of. That's right. Amen. Amen. And Amen. God Amen. used Moses as a baby man. He, listen to this, he put Moses in the lap of luxury for 40 years, trained him, he ate good, he made sure he was strong. He made sure he didn't get sick. <laughs> this is funny. And then, Moses saw one of his brethren getting beat. Getting beat up. And it infuriated him. He had a short fuse. He dealt with anger. And Moses, he killed that Egyptian. For fear of what was going to happen to him, he fled. Moses left that royalty. He just left it. He knew he had to go. But guess who was waiting on him out there? <laughs> it was God. God was waiting on him out in the desert. Yep. It was the whole time. Yep. God was waiting to get him alone. Mm -hmm. Oh, people, sometimes we got to learn how to get by ourselves to get what God wants for us. Yes. And Mary, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you, Mary. I'm sorry. For the backdoor situation earlier, the Lord checked me and told me I should have went to the point. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. He said I should have went to the front. Thank you. Watch this. Okay, y'all. Let me go on here and fix this up. This is this is making me chuckle. See, I've been at home reading this yesterday and I read this up this morning, and it's making me laugh because I'm seeing. God's awesomeness in this story. Listen, y'all. Moses, he ran. He was 40 years old or around 40, and he killed this Egyptian, and he just left all that he knew. <laughs> all that he had accomplished. His name was just as great as the son of the Pharaoh, Ramses, if not more. Listen to what he ran into. He ran into the desert of Midian. And he went to Midian and he became a 
shepherd. He, he went and he hooked up with Jethro. He was out there laying out there and his Jethro's daughters was getting water and they found him. And they said, they said, come on, you got to come home with us. We got to show our dad what we found. Now Jethro was a priest. And Jethro said, a man, really? He got, what, six or seven dogs? Ain't no man around. And the first thing that hit Jethro's uh, mind was, dun, 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 That was the first thing that Jethro thought about. Man, who can I... This guy is a guy. He is a big, powerful guy. And Moses wasn't no little guy. I think Moses was probably 6'2", six 6'3", six <laughs> muscular. And Moses married <laughs> some poor. started asking questions about this mountain. And he, that mountain just was pulling Moses to him. And she said, that's the mountain of God. You can't go up there. You can't do nothing. So one day Moses was out <laughs> with, the, with the sheep. He done went from living in Egypt, living in the king's palace, to sleeping out in the desert, man. To sleeping out in the desert. It's amazing. How do you go from the palace to the pit? And see, was 40 years old, and I, I recollect, if, I, if my understanding and my wisdom is right, and I can remember clearly, he spent 40 years in the desert. 40. So, so wait a minute. He was 40, he spent 40 years out with Jethro over in the desert for what reason? For what reason? Okay, he's 80 now. Yeah. But the man ain't aged. He looked older, but his body is just like he's 30. Come on, people. Talk to me. His body is like he's 30. He aged on the outside, but he, he can walk, talk, jump, do all that stuff like he's 30. How did God preserve him? How? I hear the Lord say, I'm going to do the same things. He said, it may not be preserve your age. He said, but I can do the same things for you. How many people can believe it? Amen. How many people can believe? Amen. Mm -hmm. See, I, I love my pastor and God's relationship. Yes. Amen. Amen. I love their relationship. Yeah. Because I've seen miracle after miracle after miracle after miracle happen. And, and I don't see eyes wearing no gators. I don't see eyes pulling up in no Maybach. <laughs> Come on. It's true. Come on, y'all. Talk to me. 
See, it, 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 it's, it's not in that. It's not in that. It's about just being humble and doing what the Lord wants to do. See, I realize he got wants. He got issues that God is working on with, and that's, that's keeping his feet on the ground. And that it should. Because when you get too high, then the carpet is pulled from up under your feet. Mm -hmm. And you come fall. Yeah. yeah, come on. Now, let's get back to Moses. Mm -hmm. So Moses, he in 40, he's being prepared for what God got for him to do. It took 40 years. Joe. It took 40 years, but not only did it take 40 years to get Moses' head right, but he was allowing that old generation to die off. Come on. You got to see the, the uniqueness and the, the wisdom of God. God was letting that old generation die off. So that his will could be done. See, you to see, you got to realize, people. We all have ways that we're set. God was letting some of them old ways die off. Yes, he was. Die off. Yeah. That's why he. Got, listen to me. If I don't tell you nothing else, when you say God, you should put an equal sign over there and it should say change. Yes, amen. 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 That's it. Amen. Don't shout me down. God equals change. Amen. You, it, it, it ain't no other way around it, people. That's right. That's right. Amen. I didn't want to do this. I wanted to be a gangster, man. Yeah. I did. I did, man. Hey, bro, would you tell him? That's, that's I walked right into it. Yeah. My mother moved in the area where the riot started. It was crazy over there. And I grew up and I just, I, it wasn't something that somebody taught me. Mm -hmm. I had to be that. I had to. Because God had to Show me a better way. Right. He had to give me some reason why that wasn't the way to be. Amen. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Look at you now. Look. Mm -hmm. People from down there all believe what be like, oh my God, ain't uh -huh. no way in the world, man. Uh -huh. You a what now, associate? You what? You what? You giving prophetic words? What? You speak? You giving the word of wisdom, word of knowledge? What? Yep. Come on. Same way with Moses, because Moses he was gone forty years, sit back over there with Jethro, got married, God start preparing him for what was to come, because ain't no way in the world. How many people was it that he had to bring out? A million, two, two million folks. Come on. Ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh. Teresa, two million people. You mean to tell me at least 500,000 of them was complaining? <laughs> at least 500,000, if not a million. 500,000 was like, what are we doing out here? We want food. Why you, just, why you take us from here? Why we, what? I want some Kool-Aid. I want some tropical punch Kool-Aid. <laughs> some people tell me I want popcorn. <laughs> I want caramel. I want caramel. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me wrap this up. Funny, but it's the truth. It's the truth. We all want something different. Oh, These yeah. people was driving Moses crazy. Yeah. I just don't yeah. know. He, yeah, then you go, I know. He had to go back. Now it's a new Pharaoh. Now, it's a new Pharaoh now. So, so God got Moses prepared. He got Moses ready. Moses, hey, let me see. I got a footnote here. I left my glasses by mistake. Rushing to get out of there. But watch what this footnote says. 
This is, okay, let's put this word outside. The best education that could be given royalty in Egypt was inadequate to prepare Moses for God's assignment. Listen. He said, he said, the best education, I'm oh, sorry, okay, now. The best education that could be given royalty in Egypt was inadequate to prepare Moses for God's assignment. Moses, 40 years, Moses went through 40 years of hardship. Dude, how do you go from the palace to flock of sheep? <laughs> Come on. Amen. He had women bathing in him. You know, he had all of that. He had the royal. He had women bathing him, women fixing his food, all of that stuff. And now you, come on. And now you, you a shepherd, you shepherd and some sheep that ain't even yours. In the Midian Desert. Come on, people. In the Midian Desert. Amen. Watch this. He said, all that was necessary preparation. Necessary preparation for Moses to get his head right to lead God's people out. So he went through 40 years of living good, 40 years of living like living like a slave, to being a slave deliverer, the deliverer of Israel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen to me, y'all. Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, and you line your life up with Him, 
He's trying to deliver you. Yes. He's trying to deliver you out of something. Yes. At the same time, he's trying to deliver you into something. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Come on now. He tr he's trying to deliver. He he's doing a twofold thing. John, fast John. He he's delivering you out of something while trying to deliver you into something. Amen. more minutes. Watch this. Important character and leadership development occurred involving <clears throat> hiddenness, brokenness, humility, and solitude with God. Only after 40 years of solitude in the desert was Moses prepared for his future task of delivering Israel from Egypt? Do y'all see this? He had to go through 40 years to be ready to deliver them. He couldn't have just jumped in there. Now, the passage says Moses was going back and forth with God. God, I can't speak. God, I, you know, God, I can't do this. And God said, yeah, that's okay. We're going to send Aaron with you. <laughs> he sent Aaron. And he sent her. And he sent Joshua. He had a whole crew. He had a whole crew ready for Moses. talking about, wait a minute, this all we got? We need water. Moses went up. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Water just started flowing out. Mm -hmm. Fresh water from a rock. Yeah, for, two for two million people. It was it was piles of flour or grain or some kind of substance to make cakes with. And that's what they did. These people start looking around and one minute it wasn't there and the next minute it was. God performed miracles. And I'm going to tell you something, man. Some of the miracles I've seen God do here is just like that. Yeah. One day, yeah. one day we're like, oh, Lord, what are we going to do? And the next day I was like, hey, bird, uh, you know what? Somebody blessed us with some money. And I'm like, I'm, I'm like what? Yeah. He's like, we, we two, three months behind on the, And I'm like, what? See, it's got to be, it's got to be something miraculous happening in your life. But you got to leave him room. You got to just believe. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Yeah. Steve, you got to just believe. And the thing with Moses, Moses believed. Yeah. So after they got the water, after they got 
you know, the flour and the mix, and he was starting to feed them. People started to believe, but you still had those that didn't want to believe. He threw his rod down and made a snake. He parted the Red Sea. He got them out of this and got them out of that. But the point I'm trying to make to you is, is that God is saying something to you here today. wants to do something through you. See, let me tell you something, man. I don't know when it's going to happen. I just see a crazy, radical people coming up out of this ministry. Amen. I see a crazy, radical Amen. people. Amen. Come on. So. Amen. That believe God. Yes. And believe me. Yes. Yeah. That believe me. So, we wrap this up. I'm just a mess. Tell you something. Every time I get up here, I get a little more powerful. I start to understand my gift a little more. Other than I was, I was at uh, living the word. Stopped in there briefly, and I got there and I sang a few songs and I sat down and the Holy Spirit just spoke to me so clearly. He said, "Bird." He said. He said, the word of knowledge and healing run together. He said, the word of knowledge. Microphone's going out, I think. He said, the word of knowledge and the gift of healing run together. I'm going to use you. I was talking to Oz yesterday. And I said, Oz, I said, I don't call this thing this word. He said, oh, bird. He said, yeah. He said, that's a good word. He said, you know why? He said, that's what Steve Fado flow in. Mm -hmm. My mouth like to hit the ground. He said, that's what, that's the same thing. Steve Fado flowing here. And I love Steve Fado's gifts. Yeah, amen. Bring it on, man. Bring it on, man. Come on, Pastor Jay. Bring it on. Come on. Bring it on. Come on. Yeah. You got it. Flow. Come on, man. Where God is showing you to, Jay. Flow in what he shows you. Because it doesn't mean that's going to be your gift all the time. I had to accept the pastoral before word of wisdom, word of knowledge, healing, any of that will come. Because it's not mine. It's not mine. Right. It's only when he comes on me that it can flow. Oh, come on. I'm just a vessel. Moses was just a vessel. Moses was just going trying to do what God wanted him to do. The crazy part about it, Jesus was with him every time he went to the bush, every time he went to go get it with him, the Ten Commandments, all of that, that was Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. y'all should be up and running around. That was Jesus in the bushes. It was Jesus. Come on. It was Jesus. <laughs> Yahweh, back then, you go to the, to, the, to the New Testament, it constitutes to Jesus Christ. They came in the same spirit. Jesus is calling us. 
and came in the same spirit. See, Jesus was there. And see, now I understand. A lot of people don't want to start treading on that. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with treading on it now. He was there. Let me tell you something, people. Jesus is here. Amen. Amen. Thank Jesus you. is ready for us to get this dumb stuff yeah. out. He ready for us to get who like me and who don't. Mm -hmm. That's right. But he wants you to be obedient to what he tells you. Yeah. That's my last five dollars. Get it. Because the next person you might see might give you 20. They might give you 20. You give somebody five and get a 20 back. Oh, that's an even deal to me. I'll take that 20 <laughs> over giving five. <laughs> See, God has a plan yeah. for you. Yeah, and all I'm here to do is just help build your faith up. I'm an encourager. Uh-huh. Prophetic. The prophetic. Come on, Andrea. Call that prophetic forth in the name of Jesus. Just start delivering. I know it's there. I know it's there. Hey, don't you get it sometimes? I know that's it. That's it. I know it. Just deliver the word and watch it start coming more clearly, more easily. Mm -hmm. Come on, by the back. Okay, enough of Moses. Thank you. Enough of Moses, God. We thank you, Jesus. Yes. yes See, we do. Moses took him. Moses took him. He took him and he got there. And the crazy part about it is that God told him, man, you can't go in. God told him, Moses, you can't go in, man. You know why? Because way back there, I told you to do something. You got mad at me, man. You struck the rock. I almost struck you down, Moses. God could have God killed him. But then the people wouldn't have been there. He would have started all over again. Saying that, say, it's powerful powerful people in here. Amen. What you waiting on? Amen. What you waiting on? Amen. You power. You power. You power. What you waiting on? What you waiting on? Jesus. See, we got to understand the Lord has a plan for us. And man, the only way you get it is on your face. Mm -hmm. Want me to show I'm whacking it up. 
Yes, Lord. We love you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We will not be in fear, Lord. We know you are with us. We know, Lord God, that you are the one that delivers us, that helps us, that's with us, Lord God. Continue, Lord God. Yes, Lord. To have your way. Continue. To be our God, and we will continue to be your people. Yes, Lord. Yes, we say yes, Lord. Father, thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Is it, is it anybody here? You don't know what you got. You don't know body hurting, body aches, any of that. Nobody. Here. Come on, elders. Say, so elders shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Don't touch it. Father God, we need air, Lord God. We need air to walk, talk, yeah. speak, Lord God. Yes. We need air, Lord God, to yes, step Lord. up and to be able to walk out what it is you have for her, Lord. She's powerful, Lord God. I already see it all over. Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Do it, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Start speaking it through her, Lord God. Give her supernatural, supernatural, God. Supernatural strength, Lord, to fight through whatever this sickness is. Deliver her right now, God, in Jesus' name. Give her strength. Deliver her now. Yes, give her strength in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Yes. In Jesus' name, it says, Elders shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Recover. In Jesus' name. Father God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Go in peace, the love and serve the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.